And good morning. Hopefully this will never be the case, but if you or someone you know is accused or even a suspect in a crime, it goes without saying that it is extremely important to have legal counsel by your side who really knows the system. Here to help out with some answers are Mark Anajar, Glenn Levine, and Neil Kirsch from the law offices of Anajar and Levine. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I watch some of these shows like everybody else does, and people are questioned by police with no legal counsel all the time. Mistake? Never a good idea. Yeah. Um, anytime the police want to speak to you, whether you're being a witness or being a suspect of a crime, um, you just want to make sure that you have an attorney there to advise you through that process. And this actually not being my area of expertise, I brought Neil Kirsch from our office with us here today, and he's our criminal defense attorney, and he'll explain to you exactly what that process would involve. Okay, so let's say uh, the, the police have called me and I call you. What, what is the first thing you then do? The first thing I want to do is I actually want to meet with you and speak to you to find out all the information I can on why the police might be contacting you. A lot of times the client will have information relating to what is the reason that the police are contacting. They also have important phone numbers, so if I can get that information, I can then contact the police, find out whether they're the target of an investigation or simply they're just a witness. Oh, that's key because a lot of people go in there just thinking, oh, they want to talk to me. You know, the police are, are very adroit and just saying, we have a couple questions for you, but they don't always fill you in on what they're thinking. You then can circumvent that by talking to the police directly. Absolutely, and that, that's the first thing I, I do is when I call, I, I specifically ask, are they a target or are they a suspect? And if the police don't want to answer that question, then we simply exercise our right to remain silent. Now see, that what you just said, the right to remain silent, a lot of people forget that. I think, you know, maybe they, they want to cooperate with police, but it may not always be in their best interest, correct? Correct. I mean, we have the constitutional safeguards of the right to remain silent and the right to have a lawyer present and during all questioning. So it's a right that our Constitution gives us and it's a right that should be exercised more often than not. Right, and it's a key decision because of the consequences later on. So good to get legal counsel from the very start. And to expand on that, you know, you don't want to avoid the police at all times. We want to cooperate sure. with them. But at the same time, you know, speak with an attorney and make sure you get the right counsel before you do so. All right, good advice. If you want more information or if you have a specific legal question that you want answered, give the law office of Anna Jar and Levine a call. Their number, 800-747-FREE. Or visit their website at SouthFloridaInjuryLaw.com. And remember, you can watch the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine every Friday on 6 in the mix. Legal Playbook is sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jarn Levine.